Oh, grade one action with the Ascot Chase next over two mile five furlongs. I don't know why this race is so early. It's not normally until February time anyway. But anyway, we obviously have it at a different time of year than everybody else. Buffalo Commercials at the top for Vinnie Gerard, Enzo Zancaro, and Darren Thompson, Hard Hysteria, Leon Van Rensburg, Kingdom Come, Daniel French, Murdoch Garfield, Matt Cooper, Signpost, Craig Beck with Steel George, Stu Gray, Stitching Time, Graham Clutterbuck, Strong Arrow, John Morgan, The Mighty Joshua Sutherland, Venadome, Darren Thompson, Yuma One, Vinnie Gerard, Alien Captain Leon Van Rensburg, Decent Words, for John Morgan, Ellie's Politan and Hell Villain runs for David Robertson. Last Word and Music World for David Hooley. The Blank, Joshua Sutherland. And what a deal for Craig Beckwith. A field of 20 for this then. And away they go. And lots of newcomers in this. Lots of new horses this weekend. And Ashton has padded the fields out nicely. If we had some pretty low... Fields, small fields in the first six weeks of the season. I don't think we're going to have to worry about that too much. Now we had 24 already in the King George yesterday. And this is another grade one with 20 in, so. All safely over the first. Murdoch Garfield was a little bit untidy. But it's strong arrow is set off in a pretty commanding lead. John Morgan front runner, really he fooled me yesterday by having a few hold up horses but it's back to the usual front running style today and Strong Arrow is in the lead on the blank in second and then what a deal third Buffalo Commercial fourth and then the mighty after that one in Enzo Zancaro as they begin the swing into the straight everybody's been trying to get onto the starters orders forums today or Tom which is the on our league page. They're both down on the internet at the moment as they get to the fifth. Hopefully that will be rectified as soon as possible, but there's nothing wrong with your connection or anything. It's the pages themselves that are down at the moment. Hopefully they'll be sorted by the end of the week. You can get your interest in for next week, but a strong arrow is going to lead them over the sixth. Buffalo Commercial in second, and then Anzo Zancaro is third, the Blank is fourth. Then comes Water Deal and Signpost, Alien Captains after that one, as they come up past the stand. And we'll see them past the winning post that totalise eight aboard the big screen. And Strong Arrow is in the lead by a good four lengths to Buffalo Commercial in second, and then Enzo Zancaro between them, Water Deal and the Blank. Tucked in behind them, signpost. That one usually runs a big race in these big races. Then comes Alien Captain Ellie's Politan is after that one. Decent words is next, and then Venadome and Yuma One. As they race away from the stand. And take fence number seven. We'll safely over that one. With a strong arrow continuing to lead. The blank has now moved into a clear second. With Enzo Zancaro in third and Buffalo Commercial on the inside fourth. Over the eighth. And we'll safely over that one nicely with last word and steel George. Just the back two. Strong arrow is into this ditch. Over the guys are falling there. His hard hysteria is gone, so that's one of Leon's out. We'll so have a one two in this one like he did in the last one. They get over the tenth. And we'll safely over with David Hooley's pair now the back two. Music world and last word. And it's Strong Arrow continuing to lead then from Signpost and the Blank. And then Ellie's Politan, what a deal, Alien Captain is quite wide on the track. Enzo Zancaro is also quite wide. The Mighty is also trying to get into that leading group. Tucked in behind them, Hell Villain runs and stitching time. They're going to need a split. So too is Venadome. Decent words is in mid div with Yuma One being pushed along as they come into the 11th. And they all. Get over that one okay with last word still struggling at the back into the 12th. These ones caught really quickly down this back straight and strong arrow now being pushed along to keep the lead as he gets into this ditch. Gets over it nicely. Good jump on the outside by Alien Captain as well. At least Politan has moved through nicely into third. Then the Sutherland pair, the Blank and the Mighty as they get over to third from home. was a 14th down on its nose at the back was Murdoch Garfield. But it's still strong arrow in the lead. At least Politan. Here comes Buffalo Commercial running a big race on debut. The Mighty is still there. Signpost and Alien Captain trying to get into it. One or two. They're going to lose some ground on this turn as they swing for 
home. There's just two more to take. And it's Strong Arrow being pressed by Buffalo Commercial. Two day debutants who are fighting out this grade one finish at the moment. Over the five second last they go. And now it's a real ding dong battle between these leaders. Commercial, Buffalo Commercial and Strong Arrow. Here comes the blank who's now coming through to challenge. Also, signpost is there. This is the final fence. And it's Buffalo Commercial in the lead from the blank and signpost. Buffalo Commercial leads into the final fence. It's a very short run in over it. Oh, he's gone. He's crashed out of the last. And that's left the blank well clear. And the blank is going to take the Ascot chase in pretty dramatic style. Probably might well have caught the other one anyway, but he's taken this one pretty cosily in the end. It's a win for Joshua Sutton. The blank takes his signpost second. The mighty third. At least Port and fourth. Then what a deal. Music will ran on well. I'm going to didn't get into that at all but last fence drama again we had that in one of the races yesterday when Leon's horse crashed out with the race at his mercy at the last and today I've just seen it again in this big grade one the Ascot chase and the blank took it when it looked like Vinnie Gerard's new goal was gonna well, I win it, but it's the blank the winner for Joshua Sutherland. Signpost second for Craig Beckwith, the mighty for Joshua Sutherland third. Ellie's Politan for David Robertson fourth, and what a deal for Craig Beckwith. He is fifth, and the big question is going to be now: what on earth does a handicapper do with that Buffalo Commercial having its first race over fences? Looked like it was going to fight out a finish in a Grade One and fell. That gets a decent mark. That will probably be in a two horse race next week because nothing I want to take that on in a handicap I wouldn't have thought if he gets a low mark